I'm Dan Jones, and Summer of Blood is my first book. It's the story of the Peasant Revolt of 1381, um, and it's one of the most fascinating stories in English history. Full of great characters, it's one of the great forgotten episodes in English history, brought back to life for the 21st century audience. Um, the Peasant Revolt, for me, is one of the most fascinating episodes in English history because it draws together so much. It's the end of an era, the end of the Plantagenet era. It's the post-Black Death period. It's the 14th century, which was a time of unbelievable upheaval, um, a really bloody and kind of tortuous existence for many people, and a very opulent time for, for a very few people at the top of society. And the Peasants' Revolt draws all that in together. It's the first time you find the English peasantry appearing in the history books. It's a time when you have a 14-year-old king on the throne, and these things somehow come together in the most unprecedented way. Um, you know, this is a time when the Archbishop of Canterbury was beheaded in the street. It's a time when English government was decapitated by the lowest of the low, by the, the poorest of the poor, people who hadn't been seen on the pages of English history before. What's interesting about the Peasants' Revolt is that it's a time when people are obsessed with the enemy within. It's a time when people from all over society suddenly appear in these radical cabals and hurl themselves at government, at the country that's raised them with the most furious, venomous anger. And I think there's no more relevant story for today's society than that. 